turning me to a duck. Oh no, my poor child, who's probably grown up to be just as cynical and cowardly as I am, is unconscious. Also, she was dancing in the woods last night, leading me to believe that she and several others were practicing witchcraft. The fact that we consider dancing to be bad should be a good indicator as to how backwards our thinking is to a modern audience. Exposition. Exposition. Uncle Paris, I can explain. It is not my fault that my cousin, Betty, who is unconscious, is unconscious. Get it? Because she's cold and seemingly heartless. Abigail Williams, you are my niece in this version of events, and I am suspicious of you. You used to work for John Proctor, but Mrs. Proctor threw you out. Why? It was certainly not because I slept with her husband, my old employer, and she found out. It was because she wanted me to work like a common slave, like the one we own, named Tichuba. By the way, she was the one conjuring spirits in the forest, not me. She's the reason Betty is unconscious. It's witchcraft. Did, Did somebody, somebody say witch? witch? No, I don't believe any of this has to do with witchcraft at all. That's why I called an expert. Did you say an exorcist? No. Mr. Hale is a reverend who is going to show you what idiots you're all being. He'll probably find the witches responsible for this girl not waking up and my girl at home not eating. That doesn't mean the devil is involved. Maybe your cooking is terrible. Well, that's not it. I also can't conceive any other children. There's no way that it is my or my husband's fault, as far as I'm concerned. We are perfect. Yeah, and anything that threatens my masculinity has to be the work of the devil. God wouldn't let a man like me not reproduce. I haven't done anything wrong besides be a huge, greedy jerk to my neighbors. All right, all right, settle down. Let's all just go downstairs so we can sing about Jesus and forget our troubles. It's my dear friends in crime, Mercy Lewis and Mousy Warren. My name is Mary, you jerk! Why does everyone call me Mousy? Because you're shy, cowardly, and have whiskers. Go to hell, Mercy! We just might. My uncle saw us in the woods, and the town suspects witchcraft. Also, he saw everything. Everything. Maybe we can use this to our advantage. By pretending to be victims of witchcraft, we can accuse anyone we want. Then we'll become more powerful than we ever could have in this deeply rooted patriarchal society. <laughs> also, if any of you tell what we're planning, I'll murder you. I'm looking at you, Mousy Warren. Oh, I'll have you soon, John Proctor. I'll kill your beloved wife somehow, and run away with you. Orphaning your children, then you'll love me. You're crazy! I'm a witch! I'm gonna fly out the window! <laughs> and as for you, you all are just as guilty as I am. Of course, none of you actually drank blood in the hopes of murdering Proctor's wife through supernatural means, like I did. But still, if you talk and ruin my life, I'll ruin yours. I'll cut your throats in your sleep. Okay. And I'll torture you and scalp you. Yuck. And I'll make jelly from your eyes. Okay, we get it, you're nuts! Mary Warren, you are my servant now that I am without Abby, so you should be back at home, cleaning or something. It's Potty Mouth Proctor! Yes, I say more bad words than anyone else in this story. Now, get the f*** out of here. I hope you do not want me to go, too. I came only to see your unconscious cousin, Betty. Certainly not to rekindle our burning romance, which is definitely over. Betty is just pretending. Since we got caught dancing in the woods. John Proctor, I love you. That is why I am willing to disclose this information in my lustfully inebriated state. I want to do lewd acts with you. I'm sorry, Abby. I refuse to cheat on my wife. Also... I still love her, or whatever. So, tough luck? What is going on in here? I'll handle this. 
This girl is simply acting as kids do. No need to get carried away about it. She'll get over this. In the meantime, since you're all here, I'd like to discuss my salary. Ugh. You see, I feel my job as leader of the church is important. Therefore, I should be paid more than I am. You make plenty without taking more from this good town. Good town? Practically no one shows up to church anymore, including you. I don't go to church because you keep bringing up the devil. We get it. He's a bad guy. Don't be like him. We don't need to hear it every single Sunday. You're going to hell! You see what I mean? <gasps> it's the expert! Yes, it is I, Van Helsing. I mean, Reverend Hale. I have brought with me the big book of bad things, as well as my vast knowledge of the supernatural world. I have come to purge this land of any devilish things that may have happened here. Your Holiness... My wife has been reading strange books and refuses to show them to me. What could this mean? It's either nothing to worry about, whew, or she's a witch, in which case she will be hanged by the neck until death. What? Now then, bring me the cursed child. I caught her, my niece Abigail, some naked girl, and several others dancing in the woods, including my slave, Tituba, who is chanting and brewing some sort of potion. Does this slave have a wart? Uh, probably somewhere, I guess. Then she meets all the requirements for a suspected witch. Bring her here. I am Tituba, the slave owned by Mr. Paris. Who are you? Okay, there's no symbolism here. I just don't have very many voice actors. Listen to me, Tuba. You are a suspected witch and will surely be hanged for it, since you are a very poor social status in this, the year 1692. Therefore, you must confess to your crimes, as well as the names of anyone else you know of who is a witch. Confess, Tituba, or die! You literally have no other choice but to agree with what we say to avoid death! Wow, these white folk are crazy. I have to think of something quick. I saw the devil. Was he with anyone? Four people, perhaps? Yes, exactly. Who? I saw Sarah Good, who is also of poor social status and therefore believable to be a witch with the devil. Surely you see the irony in me accusing her. I saw her with the devil too. Good lord, she's awake. I saw Goody Osborne with the devil. I saw Goody Bibber with the devil. I saw another conveniently hated woman in the town with the devil. I saw a deer that looked at me funny with the devil. I saw Goody Booth with the devil. I saw Abigail Williams with the devil. Oh, right. Sorry. I get a, I got a bit carried away there. Scratch that last one. <laughs> you get the idea. Everyone, go forth and bring me some witches. Oh, wait! Oh, wait. Oh, wait. 